Crucifying the Flesh, July 10th, in Heavenly Places. And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. Galatians chapter 5 verse 24. We are not our own. We have been bought with a price. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 20. Not with corruptible things as silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Christ. 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 18, 19 that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them, and rose again. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 15 All men have been bought with this infinite price. By pouring the whole treasury of heaven into this world, by giving us in Christ all heaven, God has purchased the will, the affections, the mind, the soul, of every human being. All men are the Lord's property. Christ's Object Lessons, 326. This expression, bought with a price, means everything to us. In consideration of the price paid for us, shall we not yield our bodies and souls up to him who has bought us with his blood? Shall not that which he has redeemed be kept in as wholesome and pure and holy a condition as possible? Our very flesh he has saved at an infinite cost, giving his own flesh for the life of the world. The lower passions have their seat in the body, and work through it. The words, flesh, or fleshly, or carnal lusts, embrace the lower, corrupt nature. The flesh of itself cannot act contrary to the will of God. We are commanded to crucify the flesh with the affections and lusts. How shall we do it? Shall we inflict pain on the body? No, but put to death the temptation to sin. The corrupt thought is to be expelled. All animal propensities are to be subjected to the higher powers of the soul. The love of God must reign supreme. Christ must occupy an undivided throne. Our bodies are to be regarded as his purchased possession. The members of the body are to become the instruments of righteousness. Manuscript 1, 1888. Jesus will be the helper of all who put their trust in him. Those who are connected with Christ have happiness at their command. They follow the path where their Savior leads, for his sake crucifying the flesh with its affections and lusts. They have built their hopes on Christ, and the storms of earth are powerless to sweep them from the shore foundation. Counsels to Parents, Teachers, and Students, 225. 